taken me for a selfish person I see the door It's hardly worth it To leave right now Sit in these moments I feel so quiet And I feel so broken And I've never been to Ohio Anywhere that He's dressed in piles So let me stay here For a while Getting colder, and I'm growing tired. So I'll take the long road back to my place, play the same songs, see the same things. Something strange about this feeling. So sad, but comforting. And I feel at home. When I feel Club. I'm Noah. I'm Nate. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> this project started not too long ago. We started writing music for it. Well, we start. We had the idea for it about three months ago. What month is that? No, it was more than that. Probably no October ish. I feel like it was way before that. No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Compromise. We had the idea of it ago. for a while, but then we decided to do it not too long ago. We actually met at a sorority noise concert like four years ago. Mm -hmm. At Kilby Court. At Kilby Court. Um, and we were up here at school for three years and never hung out like at all. Not even one time. <laughs> so you were friends with my brother, so I feel like it would have been yeah, weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was looking at three of it. In a band called Poor Sports, and we were looking for another guitarist. And Nate slid into my DMs and said, "Yeah, I'll try it out." And then ever since then, he's been with us. And then me and him just kind of have a very similar taste in music, writing style. So we figured we'd do our own little side project. Mm -hmm. We have a, we had a bunch of acoustic stuff we were working on that we just never did anything with. This so. is the type of music that like. At least I wanted to always write. Like even when we were playing in a full full band, it was kind of always like, I kind of like writing acoustic stuff a little bit more. I feel like it's more personable. Kiss me soft and now by the tree that you like. I'll tell you you're the one. band poor sports we have a bassist named Ben and I was telling him that I've like never met anyone that I could just write music with so naturally and I don't know if I ever will mm -hmm. like I've gone through so many different like band mates or just jammed with so many people and it just never works because either we have a different taste of music or I just kind of am not vibing with the style I don't know, we pretty much like the exact same type of music. Mm -hmm. And I feel like slight variations our like taste that. in music is half of our personality, so <laughs> <laughs> we're good old buddies. It was like a, a normal yeah, day for you guys. Look like. Uh, either I pick Nate up or he picks <laughs> me up. We go to Taco Bell. 
and then we go hang out at a local music venue called The Basement, usually kind of just mess around, try to write new stuff. For the last month or so, we've been working really hard recording specifically. Mm -hmm. um, the recording aspect of it wasn't that hard, it was more figuring out the songs themselves yeah, that was a little more difficult. Because, I mean, we didn't put, like, that much effort in the recording. It's all very <laughs> DIY. Which is kind of purposeful. Yeah, but. it was kind of intentional. We like the feel of kind of a lo-fi sound. Yeah. What, what was the you? question? Did we get off topic? Most of the time, we wouldn't even plan on recording. It would just kind of be like we're hanging out. And then we wrote a song or something and they were like, okay, let's record it. Like, let's record that right now. You got that finished. That's good. And I'm always like, oh no, I want to work on it more. Then Noah's like, no, it's perfect. Like, d don't touch it. Like that song's perfect. And so we would just, uh, we recorded a lot of the songs in a few different ways, but we, at first we were recording everything separately, like guitar and vocals separately and everything like that. But then we kind of got lazy with it in a way, but also found our sound by just doing live takes and then still adding stuff on top of that, like lead guitar and other vocals and just screaming in rooms. It kind of it kind of came through more naturally, mm -hmm. the sound of it, when we were just doing the live recordings and then would make some adjustments afterwards. Yeah. Like really the recording process was just natural. It wasn't any, it was never stressful for me. It was never like a weird, it wasn't like, oh crap, we got to record. This is a bummer, but it was like, okay, let's record this song. We whipped it out and it just worked out. A lot of times we had to redo stuff and obviously stuff doesn't work out. But There's a lot of songs we recorded that we just didn't use. Yeah. Because we just were like, weren't happy with the way it we turned out. We can do out. better. So maybe we'll have some re-releases. Or mm -hmm. not a re-release. A release tape. of something we haven't released. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on that topic, any future projects? We're going to keep doing stuff. Yeah, we're well, moving apart. We in are moving. Like two weeks. <laughs> but luckily, with the style of you know recording that we do, it wouldn't be hard to still write music together. And this is the type of thing where if we visit each other, we could crank out a whole album in like a couple of weeks, a week or so. Yeah. yeah. What's been the biggest takeaway from this whole process? Like, what have you learned? Um. For me, I guess just songwriting in general, the type of songs we're writing, like songwriting for Ghost Club was like just 100% therapy for me in a way. Just it like, just felt organic, it felt yeah. natural, there wasn't, I mean we've been writing music with a band for so long and it's so much more difficult just cause, I don't know what it is, it just, the acoustic project just felt really natural when we were mm -hmm. writing the songs. This song's called Clarity. I think all the songs maybe have a different meaning and our meanings because I we each wrote kind of half of the album. Um, but I guess the meaning I kind of put it into and everyone can interpret it differently is. Um, man, I had something. 
give me a second. Nate, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I think about it as our album title, enjoy, enjoying what's left. I mean, just trying to make sense of where we're at and still have a good time with it and process our emotions, even though it's still maybe not the best time with mental health and everything like that and living in the city, but we're still trying to enjoy what's left. I, I, I don't know about your music, but I'll say, well, I feel like a lot of the time, songs I write kind of have a positive undertone in it, even though it's very upfront, sad and emo, a lot of times I throw positive undertones in it and I feel like that's what enjoying life is. It's kind of, yeah, is. yeah. It's kind of like coping with the shittiness and making that shittiness turn into something beautiful mm -hmm. in a way. I mean, like, and one of the songs I have, it's called Piles of Leaves. The best way I could put it is like, sometimes feeling sad feels comforting. Cause mm -hmm. you just, it's like a coping mechanism that you've just developed. And I, it would feel weird without it. And using, I don't know anyone who struggles with mental health, not to glorify it in any way, but like try to take the hard parts of your life and turn it into something unique, interesting, convert it into art, music, whatever you'd want to do. The hard parts it. of your life are what makes you you, in my opinion. Yeah. So. We're just trying to blow up and act like we don't know nobody. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, just get some recognition, you know? We like, want people to connect with it. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, obviously we wrote it for us, but we are sharing it because we feel like there are so many people that feel you know similar ways from different cultures and backgrounds that could connect to it and maybe even interpret the music in a way we didn't even think of mm -hmm. when we were writing it but trying to get listeners trying to put our music out there we're proud of what we wrote i really am like i look back look listen to our album look at it and i'm like damn like we did a good job like i'm proud of what we did and i just want people to be proud of what I did as well, in a way. Not that it all relies on validation, but. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm Nate. I'm Noah. You're so watching we're Ghost Clown. Ghost Clown! Ghost Clown! <laughs> <laughs> still smells the same.